George W. Bush, when he was President of the United States, managed to amass an amazing toolbox of power and surveillance for future presidents. The right to read your private mail, to listen in on your phone calls, uh, basically to watch you wherever you go, training weather satellites in the United States to watch our car movements and track us. Thus, the groundwork was laid for an imperial presidency, one that could lead to totalitarianism. And uh, under the presidency of Barack Obama, it's going to continue. Uh, this problem is bigger than any individual, any president. Once uh, governmental power pulls itself in and it grows, very seldom does it, it let it out and diminish. Maybe some here and there, but by and large, government continues to grow and it follows a very strong historical pattern of governments in the past. Governmental lines have already been crossed, and let's consider some of the facts. The local police now are intimately connected with federal agencies and federal government. They, they have, in many instances, become extensions of federal police agencies. Not only that, they look like Darth Vader stormtroops, most local police, dressed in black outfits and gears and helmets and combat boots. Congressional legislation allows the government federal government to actually train them and under the Reagan administration all kinds of military equipment was passed out to local police agencies unknown to most citizens including all kinds of large weapons and guns to assault vehicles and helicopters. This is uh, to even small communities of 5,000 people. Just to give you an example how intimately the local police are connected to federal agencies. And this is a case that just recently happened to a man out in Oklahoma who was driving along in his car and he said, instead of aborting, it was a sign on his car, it said, instead of aborting children, abort Obama. And what he was talking about was unseat Obama. That's just political free speech rights. The local police pulled him over saying he was a threat to the president. They immediately, and this almost happened instantaneously within a couple of days, the Secret Service was contacted. They swooped down this man, came into his home to investigate him to see if he was a terrorist. Recently, under the Obama administration, the U.S. Army War College issued a report uh, saying that uh, they may have to call out troops. Why? Because of a national emergency. What's the national emergency? People may get upset and start marching in the streets, resisting the problems with our financial condition. That's enough to, to uh, get people in the army concerned that they may have to call out troops and declare martial law. I'm urging people to contact people in your community by email, uh, through your computers. Get uh, people in your neighborhood together to have similar thoughts. Start local citizens groups. Uh, keep on the back of your representatives. When you hear things like th that I'm talking about here, you need to contact your representatives and protest. They still listen to you and they'll only listen to you if you stay aggressive and that's our right under the Constitution. And that's the key, folks. We still have our rights. We still have the Bill of Rights. We have a right to petition the government for our redress of our grievances. We have free speech. You better act, and you better act consistently and over a period of time. If not, there is a good chance uh, right around the corner there may be some national emergency, whatever it might be, and the government will completely clamp down and do away with the Bill of Rights. Thank you